Back here at home, this is a live shot as demonstrators supporting Palestinians hold a rally on the grounds of Queen's Park. And while that's happening outside, inside a debate continues over whether to censure an NDP politician over her comments about the conflict. CTV's Queen's Park Bureau Chief Siobhan Morris joins us live with the latest. Siobhan. Well, Nathan, there was a moment today that really showed just how tense things have become at Queen's Park, not during discussion about that censure, but during question period, when government MPPs accused the opposition leader of dropping an F-bomb. Marit Stiles denies she did that. All of this is happening while a Muslim group here at Queen's Park was calling for calm. And now claims the right to take her seat. Sarah Jama was beaming when she took her spot as a new MPP this spring. Now she's staying away as her colleagues debate whether she should be able to speak in the legislature again. I recognize the government house leader again. The government argues her support of a Palestinian resistance, what's been called an anti-Semitic post on social media. Has placed this house and its members in such disrepute that as parliament, as a parliament, we have no choice but to act to defend the dignity of the institution on behalf of our constituents. Progressive Conservatives want Jama censured unless she removes her post and apologizes at Queen's Park. Jama has amended her post, condemns Hamas and bombardments on Gaza. There are times when it's not yes, but this is one of those times. By this morning, the post Jama had been asked to take down was pinned to the top of her feed. Not only a slap in the face to the, uh, uh, the, the Jewish community, uh, but it is also really a direct slap in the face to Parliament. The NDP leader says what the government is trying to do, it's outrageous and anti-democratic. While Jama hasn't retracted her original statement as her leader asked. I spoke to MPP Jama at great length. Uh, we have resolved this. You know, we are united. She stands against violence. The National Council of Canadian Muslims has a message for politicians in this moment when so many are hurting. All members in the House, your words have consequences. The group says acts of anti-Islamic hate have spiked since the war began almost two weeks ago. With children, uh, uh, hijab-wearing Muslim women being on the front and, and bearing the brunt. He's calling on politicians not to spend time censuring Jama, but to focus on peace. The temperature, the atmosphere, the environment um, is, is untenable. The vote on whether or not to censure Sarah Jama is expected to come on Monday morning. It's not clear whether or not she will be in the House for that vote. Reporting live from Queen's Park, I'm Siobhan Morris. Michelle, back to you.